Gaming here with another video and today I've got Call of Duty Killstreaks version 2 with the care package version 2 and the um, hunter killer drone so these are really interesting I made them lately um, been a while since I upload but yeah I recorded this before but then the footage got, uh, got a kind of messed up then my mouse went doing weird and before that I was just really distracted with other things and I had some work to do for school so um, yeah but I'm back and this video I'm gonna show you some pretty cool stuff so in the right uh, in the right uh, corner right side I mean you can see my kills so basically um, this is uh, the simplest part actually a kill streak system which makes sure that um, if I get five kills I get a care package if I can make eight kills I get a hunter killer drone and basically what happens if I die it will set my death score to one which will um, activate something else it will set my kills to zero and blah, blah blah I'll explain that later but first let's just explain the systems themselves so let's spawn zombie kill off some zombies as you can see my kill count is going up just one more and then I get a care package oh wait <laughs> didn't have the clock on oops yep <laughs> sorry about that we'll just have to do it again do it again do, do. now let's kill these mother yeah, I, I had the clock turned off because it can cause some lag. So, as you can see, we get a map. So, how this works is this is constantly testing for a player with uh, a score of kills of minimal one, so a uh, five. So, when you have five kills, it gives you a map. Basically, yes. Um, this can also be, uh, with some scoreboard systems added, this can be made mul multiplayer friendly, I think. But right now, just have it at, at P. Then it, um, when you right click the map, which is what I'm going to demonstrate now, is when you call in the care package. There we go. Um, so yeah, it has a bow in it. You can put anything in there you want. Uh, so basically, yeah, whenever you right click it, it becomes a field map. It will then clear the field map from your inventory, which will turn on this comparator, which will then do this. It will execute at P, so 50 blocks above my head, it will summon a falling sand uh, with a tile, a tile ID of a chest, which is 54, time 1, because otherwise it just disappears, and tile entity data and then you can just basically put in which items you want in there and even have a tag with enchantments so yes this command will be in the description so that you can mess around with it yourself and this is just the system which i was talking about before um also i i have all also got a dead score which is a zero as you can see when i do kill it goes to one and goes back to zero so basically what it does and it will test for someone with a death score of 1 then it will set the kills of someone to zero of my, my kills to back to 0 and my death too so basically it has to be a kill streak and not just 5 kills yes and that's basically the care package it's actually uh, quite simple the care package but then this one the next one uh, I think it's really cool the hunter killer drone so, oh, baby zombie. Uh, for this, I need to kill eight. Oh, no, wait. I just have my kill score to zero. Wrong button. You know what I could just do? You know what I could just do is I could just go on this, this command block. Copy that. Put it there. So. And I've got eight. Well, oh wait, once again, did not have the clock turned on. And eight. Oh, come on. 
yes, minimum eight, and give at the. Why is there that fishing rod? It's not supposed to give me fishing rod. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. So I uh, put this to mine cart, but that's just because well. I didn't really have many other options. I could try something else, but the minecart was just the easiest. I could put this to, to a map too, but yeah, basically, just because of that. And I know what's happening. The clock is too close, which makes it so that that repeater right there doesn't turn on and off. It just stays on all the time, which isn't good. And now it gives me... Tons of minecarts. <laughs> and that's because I made one of the most stupid mistakes ever you know, in placing there a repeater and not a comparator. Uh, I'll put a world download in the description, by the way, don't mind this. Um, oh, and I have a special surprise at the end of the video, by the way. Uh, but... Yes, what it then does is, uh, yes, this is the execute command, which is when you do it, it will constantly try to execute at any minecart to summon a prime TNT with a motion of um, 5 in the x direction and fi uh, 0 0.5 in the x direction and 5 in the y direction and a fuse of 80. So basically, it will shoot a TNT up in the air. But first, let me demonstrate the Hunter Killer, actually. So, wait, we didn't get to see the TNT, really. That was a bad demonstration, you didn't see anything. So, shoot something up, and wait, boom. The base just explodes under my feet. It's really hard to see, actually. Let's keep looking up. Yeah, it's really hard to see. But, um, then it will kill the minecart. So, it will destroy it. When it has killed the minecart it will summon wither skulls above my head with the execute command 25 blocks above my head 20 blocks above my head just a little bit um le uh, a little less high every time so yes and then this clock is constantly tp'ing any prime tnt to the wither skull so yes that should just have this motion that it's slowly coming towards you so we just saw it shoot up and oh it just came down you can actually not really see it come down that much but it really oh yeah you saw a short flash of it there and I'm creative but in survive mode that is an instant kill thing so yeah the hunter killer drone is actually simpler than I had thought but it's really cool and then also on my last video um, there was a comment from Matt McCook. Um, sorry if I pronounce anything wrong. Well, let's do this the easy way. And um, he said, summon a um, zombie with a bone riding a skeleton with the name Brainless um, something. Brainless Rider. So here it is. A zombie with a bone on top of a skeleton named Brainless Rider. So Matt McCook, for you, I will have that in the description. Yeah this command which is basically just a zombie riding the id skeleton with custom name visible one custom na i'll just scroll through it really fast custom name brainless rider and the equipment of an eye of a bone so yeah that's pretty cool that's pretty cool goodbye you guys and i'll see you in the next tutorial